WebOS is alive. I'm Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. Mobile World Congress, the mother of all mobile trade shows, kicked off in Barcelona, and we already have tons of news to talk about. Samsung did not bring out the Galaxy S4 to the show, but it was announced that the S4 will be unveiled on March 14th at a New York City event. This one is the S3. And as one of the most anticipated smartphones of the year, it's no surprise that the S4 will get its own spotlight at a separate event. But you can expect the S4 will have a Visa mobile payment system called PayWave. Samsung and Visa announced a partnership where future Samsung devices will work with Visa's mobile payment system, and the S4 will be the flagship product for that program. Many groups have been spending years trying to grow mobile payments. It's the idea that you can wave your phone at a register to pay, but it just hasn't taken off yet in the U.S. Samsung phones are very popular, but it might not really take off until Apple includes that technology in the iPhone. Mobile payments will be a big theme at this year's show, as MasterCard also unveiled a digital payment system called Master Pass, which works for purchases in stores as well as online and on a phone. Samsung did show off the Galaxy Note 8. It's an 8-inch tablet that'll compete with the iPad mini, but of course price will determine how competitive it will be, and Samsung didn't announce the price. It has an SD card slot, built-in S Pen stylus. It'll be loaded with Android Jelly Bean and will be Wi-Fi only in the U.S. Expected to come out sometime before July. Samsung is also launching a rival to the Apple TV streaming box. It's called the HomeSync. It's an Android-powered media box that's it streams movies, TV shows, and games to your TV, and it also streams movies from a Galaxy smartphone. No word on price, but that'll be out in April. And surprising news, WebOS is still alive. LG will be using HP's defunct mobile operating system on future televisions. Meanwhile, HP is back in the tablet game, this time with an Android model called the Slate 7. It'll be out in April for $170. Also at Mobile World Congress, we got a look at a voice control personal assistant app called Indigo. It's like Apple Siri, but this works on Android, Windows Phone 8, and your web browser. It'll eventually also come to iOS. It's similar to how Siri works, where you ask questions and get answers based on web search results, and it can create appointments, open apps, dictate emails, or post statuses to social networks. And one Indigo account will sync between your devices, even if you have a Windows phone and an Android tablet. That's your tech news update. You can find more details on these stories at the blog, cnet.com slash update. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.